The paper explores the departure from political neutrality exhibited by independent fact-checking organizations, using GPT-3.5 and journalistic frameworks to establish a longitudinal measure for political neutrality on a scale of 1 to 1. The authors observe an average score of 0.17 and 0.24 in the USA and India, respectively, indicating how seemingly objective fact-checking can still carry distorted political views. They also examine how biases manifest in these organizations using 5W1H journalistic practices and large language models, quantifying the extent of political neutrality exhibited by six prominent independent fact-check organizations in the USA and India over a period of five years, 20,182,023. The results reveal a selection bias among organizations, with a higher level of similarity among political entities covered in debunked news compared to the topic content of the news. All organizations show a deviation from political neutrality, with varying scores on the one-to-one -one scale. Measuring topical overlap and quantifying neutrality in fact-checking organizations is crucial for understanding the spread of misinformation. The authors analyze six independent fact-checking organizations from the USA and India, curating a dataset of over five years. They employ a sentence transformer to obtain aggregated embeddings for what, why, and claim, tags, and measured topical similarity, TS, between organizations within a 15-day window. The results show consistent patterns of topical alignment across tags, but low median topical similarity, less than 0.8, indicates poor overlap between organizations. The authors also quantify neutrality by accessing the extent of positivity or negativity, PS, meted out by an organization towards political entities. They find that fact-checking organizations are primarily covering misinformation related to prominent leaders, with high entity overlap. The perception propagated by an organization towards entities largely remains unaltered, even when accounting for maximum deviation. In terms of entity-based analysis, the authors observe that heads of state or prominent leaders are portrayed with mostly positive neutrality scores. In contrast, leaders of the opposition are viewed more critically, with significant differences in negativity scores between fact-checking organizations. For instance, Trump is viewed negatively by all US-based fact-checking organizations, while Rahul Gandhi is viewed more critically by Op India compared to Alt News and Boom. The authors employ a zero-shot setup with a large language model, LLM, to provide summarized viewpoints of 5W, and perform a manual quality check with two expert annotators. The dataset and source code are made publicly available. Overall, the study provides insights into the topical overlap and neutrality of fact-checking organizations, highlighting the need for a more comprehensive understanding of misinformation spread. The research examines the neutrality of fact-checking organizations in portraying political entities, focusing on the USA and India. It analyzes the political leaning of these entities over the years, observing a relatively fixed sentiment despite some variation. The study suggests that this stability might arise from both the organization's biases and the entity's rigid ideologies. The findings indicate a form of media bias stemming from inequity of coverage, which can influence readers' perceptions. The research aims to empower readers to recognize subtle media biases and encourages future work in understanding consumption patterns for fact-checked news. The study also focuses on prominent misinformation interventions and their impact on reducing misperceptions. It examines the effectiveness of fact-checking organizations in addressing misinformation, analyzing data from 2018 to 2023. A custom scraper is used to obtain fact-checked samples and a large language model, LLM, is employed for data annotation. The LLM used is GPT-3.5, which is prompted in a zero-shot manner to retrieve the most relevant sentences highlighting the motivation behind spreading fake news. This approach enables the study to analyze the impact of misinformation interventions and the effectiveness of fact-checking organizations in reducing misperceptions. The research paper discusses the process of fact-checking news articles, focusing on central claim extraction, sentiment analysis, and entity overlap. It emphasizes the importance of strict verbatim quoting and human evaluation of LLM-generated outputs. The methodology for sentiment analysis targets political entities and their polarity, 
with a focus on uncertainty measurement including confidence intervals for topical similarity and maximum log error in polarity scoring. Annotators, familiar with computational social science and prompt engineering in LLMs, evaluate the performance of prompts I, II, and III by assessing 20 samples. They assign relevancy scores to the retrieved sentences for what, why, and claim on a Likert scale of 0 to 2. The average relevancy scores for the two evaluators are 1.75 and 1.67 for what, 1.67 and 1.33 for why, and 1.87 and 1.61 for claim, respectively. Additionally, the annotators manually identify major political entities in the articles and assign perception tags of positive, negative, or neutral. The average recall of relevant political entities is 93.3% for one evaluator and 87.5% for the other. The average precision of the annotated tags is 90.2%, with perfect precision for positive and neutral classes and 70.6% for the negative class. The precision is used to calculate the uncertainty in the polarity score due to errors in the LLM's output using the maximum log error, equation 9. The annotation process serves as a benchmark to evaluate the performance of the LLMs in extracting relevant information and generating accurate perception tags. High recall and precision of the annotated entities and tags demonstrate the effectiveness of the annotation process. However, variability in the relevancy scores and precision across evaluators highlights the need for further refinement in the evaluation methodology. The uncertainty in the polarity score, calculated using the maximum log error, provides a quantifiable measure of the LLM's performance.